This is a video to help you solve systems of equations with the equal values method. When I solve systems of equations, I'm trying to find where two lines cross. I'm trying to find the point of intersection. So if you think of a graph, if I have a graph that looks like this, and I have one line that comes like this and another line that comes like this, when I'm solving systems of equations, I'm trying to find the point where they intersect. And that's what I'm trying to do when I do these problems. I'm finding the point when they intersect. So I just drew an x and a y axis. If this is one of my lines that looks like this, and my other line looks like that, when I solve the systems of equations, what I'm trying to find is the point where the two lines intersect. So that's what I'm trying to do. And there's ways we can do that mathematically without graphing the problems or making a table like that. We're going to do it algebraically. Okay? So the first problem I'm going to do, I'm going to solve the system of equations. And it's, I'm going to use the equal values method to do it. If I have y equals 3x plus 5 is one equation, and my other equation is y is the same as 4x plus 8, what I'm trying to find, if I try to solve the systems of equations, I want to find out where this line and that line cross. And that's what I'm doing when I solve a system of equation algebraically. Now, this is going to be called the equal values method. I call it the equal values method because both the 3x plus 5 and the 4x plus 8 are both equal to y. And since they're both equal to y or equal to the same thing, I can set them equal to each other. So I can say that since y is the same as 3x plus 5 and y is the same as 4x plus 8, they're going to cross when 3x plus 5 is equal to 4x plus 8. Okay? So all I have to do is solve this problem for x and then plug in that x value back into either one of my two original equations to get the y value, and that's going to be the point where these two equations cross. So if I solve this for x, what I have to do is get all the x's to one side of the equation. So if I do that, uh, let's, since I have more x over on the right side, I have 4x over there and only 3x on the left side, what I'm going to do is I'm going to get all my x's to the right side of the equation. So to do that, I have to subtract 3x from both sides. Okay, on the left side now I have positive 3x and negative 3x, and that makes 0. So I'm just left with 5. On the right side, I have positive 4x and 3x, so that's just going to be x. And then I also have that 8. Now I've got all my x's to the right side of the equation. Now I've got to get all the numbers back to the right side, or, or the left side. So what I have to do is I'll subtract 8 from both sides. And when I do that, I have 5 and negative 8, so I have negative 3 over there. And these make 0, so I'm just left with x over on the right side. So I know that x has to be equal to negative 3. Now, to solve for y, I have to put negative 3 back into either of my originally two equations. I should get the same thing. So let's see. Let's put y is equal to 3, but instead of x... I'm going to put negative 3, because that's what x is equal to, plus 5. So when I solve that, 3 times negative 3 is negative 9 plus 5. Well, negative 9 and plus 5, they work against each other. The negative wins, so it's negative 4. So my point of intersection is negative 3, negative 4. Those two lines will cross at negative 3, negative 4. Now, just to show you, I could have picked either point. Let's put in negative 3 for this x and see what I get. If I do that, I get y is equal to 4 times negative 3 plus 8, which is equal to negative 12 plus 8, which is equal to negative 4. So no matter which equation I would have picked, if I put negative 3 into that equation, I'm going to get back out to negative 4. So my solution for this system of equations is 3, negative 4. Okay. I'm going to have you try a couple here now. The next one I'm going to try is y is equal to 11 minus 2x, and y is equal to x plus 2. Okay? So you're going to use the equal values method to solve this. Okay? So see if you can set up the equation so you can solve this. Okay? Hopefully you stop the recorder, now you're restarting. So when I set up this equation to solve this, 
I'm going to know that I know y is the same as 11 minus 2x, and y is the same as x plus 2. Since y is the same as both of those, the point where they intersect is when 11 minus 2x is going to be equal to x plus 2. Okay? So now we, sol we set up the system of equations. Now stop the recorder and see if you can solve it. Go ahead and stop the recording and see if you can solve the system of equations. Remember, after you find x, you have to plug that x back into either equation to find the y also. Okay, let's see how you did. So the first thing, since I have negative 2x over here, because that negative sign goes with the 2x, and I have positive x over there, I have more x's on the right. I have positive 1 instead of negative 2. So let's get all the x's over to the right side. I'm going to do that by adding 2x to both sides. If I add 2x to both sides, I have 11, negative 2x, and positive 2x. Well, the negative 2x and positive 2x just will make 0, so I'll have 11 on the left side. On the right side, I have x and 2x, which makes 3x, and I also have plus 2. Okay? So then what you should have done is you should have subtracted 2 from both sides because you want the numbers on the other side. I'm going to get all my x's on the right side and all my numbers on the left side. The positive and negative 2, that just makes 0. So I have 3x over there on the right side. On the left side, I have 11 and negative 2. They work against each other, the positive wins and it wins by 9, so I have 3x is equal to 9. Now, the opposite of multiplying x by 3 is dividing by 3. So I'll divide that side by 3 and this side by 3, and I get x is equal to 3. So the x value where those two lines intersect is going to be 3. So now what I have to do is I have to plug 3 back into either equation and see what I get. Well, let's do it on this one first. So I know y is equal to x plus 2, and since x is 3, it's going to be equal to 3 plus 2, which is equal to 5. So I get 3 is the x-coordinate, and 5 is the y-coordinate. So 3, 5 is what I get when I use that point. Just to show you that I could have picked either point, I'm going to go and put 3 in for x in the other equation. So my other equation is y is equal to 11 minus 2x, which is 11 minus... 2 times 3, which is 11 minus 6, which is 5. So I could have picked that side also and got 3, 5 as the point of intersection. 3, 5 works in both equations. It's a point in both equations. So that means since they're a line and they're a straight line, the point of intersection is going to be 3, 5. So what I want you to do now is I want you to solve one more. So I'm going to turn the page over. And this time, you're going to solve it. So the equation, so some of the equations you want to solve this time is y is equal to 3 minus 2x, and y is equal to 1 plus 2x. Okay? So those are the two equations. I have y is the same as 3 minus 2x, and y is the same as 1 plus 2x. So I want you to pause the recording right now, and then try and solve it, and I'll give the solution in a second. So pause the recording and solve the problem. Remember, after you solve for x, plug, the, plug your value for x back in and see what the value for y is also. Okay, let's see how you did. Since I know that y is the same as 3 minus 2x, and y is the same as 1 plus 2x, I know that the point of intersection... I can find the point of intersection by setting these two y's to be equal to each other. So y is equal to 2x has to be equal to y equals or 1 plus 2x. All I did is I put that on that side of the equation and this on that side of the equation. Since they're both y equals, I can set those two equal to each other. Now I have more y's on the right side. I have two or more x's on the right side, I'm sorry. More x's on the right side. I have two x's over here and negative two x's over there. So let's get all the x's to the right side of this equation. So I'll do that by adding two to both sides, two x to both sides, excuse me. So I'll add two x to both sides. And the reason I did that is I wanted zero. I wanted to get that to be zero. So I just have three over there. And on the other side, I have one plus four x. Okay, so now after I do that one, 
Now what I have to do is I have to, uh, after I did that, let's subtract 1 from each side. So I'll subtract 1. I'll subtract 1. On this side, the 1 and the negative 1 make 0. So I just have 4x, and 3 and negative 1 make 2. I divide both sides by 4. I get x is equal to 1 half. So my value for x is equal to 1 half. So let's plug that in and see how we get. So I have y is equal to 1 plus 2x, which is y is equal to 1 plus 2 times 1 half. So if I set that, find the value, I have 1 plus 1, so y is equal to 2. So the point, if I use that one, is 1 half and 2. If I use the other side of the equation, I have y is equal to 3 minus 2x. So then I'll plug in a half in for x, so I have 3 minus 2 times a half. And if I multiply 2 times a half, that's 1. So I have 3 minus 1, which is equal to 2. So there again, I get the point 1 half and 2. So no matter what, uh, what side you use the value for x, you got the same answer. And that is how you use solve systems of equations using the equal values method.